What is going on chums and welcome back to our Celebrating Ease series. Today we're on to E7. We're kind of in the home stretch, which is lucky because Ease 10 is out pretty damn soon. As I've mentioned before, my schedule kind of got out of whack for these videos, but we're pressing on. Should still get it done in time. So let's just jump into this one. Uh oh, I was on a boat. I think we'll see where this is going. Standing right at the front of it too. Bold choice at all. Weird how the text is like aligned left like that. I don't know if that's a bug or, or what. There's Dogie. Yeah, that's really weird with the text like that, but okay. Don't worry, Dogie, you are the wall crusher. Some great texture work on display there on that crate, I must say. Now, if I remember correctly, this game came out on PSP, so it's obviously not going to be the best looking game in the world, but that's not really what these games are about anyway. Some of them look really nice, especially I think the Nepishtim system games look really good. But they're obviously not like big AAA extravaganzas. Yeah, that's surely the text is not supposed to be cut off by Dogie's portrait there. Now I should add that I think I mentioned in the previous video that I started playing these games in story order, and <clears throat> which is not numerical order or release order. So this is kind of, I haven't actually finished all the games, this is the next one up for me, so I haven't played this one yet. Because I've just been sort of playing a game here and there on and off for the last couple of years just to get caught up. And um, yeah, so that's seven and then nine are the next two in line for me in story order. So seven and nine we're going to be exploring together. Dragon Knight's warships, huh? Altago was at war with Rome, or R Romne, however the hell they want to say it in this game, in this pretend version of our world. Altago being on the continent of Afroka, which I'm sure you can guess where that's supposed to be. Now this is the first fully 3D game in the series with 3D backgrounds and characters. Whereas the last few before this were 3D world and 2D sprites for the characters.
Well, I can see that it appears to continue the series run of having absolutely banging soundtracks. That's a very nice intro. A lot of uh, dragon iconography in there. So I don't know much about this game, despite the fact that it's pretty old and I do like the series. But I know there's something about the dragons of Altago in this. So that makes sense why there's loads of dragony stuff. get to the adventuring. Okay, not wrong, Dogie. That is very annoying with the weird text cut off. I'm playing this on PC, obviously, and um, I don't know if it's like mess around with resolutions. It kind of makes some things cut off a bit, maybe. So I had an issue. I, I'm playing this on an LG C1. So I went into the config and just set the game to run at 4K. And um, it was just like blown up to four times the size it should have been, so I could only see a quarter of the screen. So I had to go and set it to 1080p. Got a dodge roll. Got dogs. Now this is the first game in the party system games, which I mistakenly said was self setter in that video, and then I think I corrected myself later in that video. Ruins Island, that's really um, imaginative. So yeah, the party system games are kind of coming to an end with these 10. So you had 7, then Cell Setter, which was a remake of 4. Then you had Ease 8 and Ease 9, both party system games. And um, there's usually like 6 characters in the party system games. And then Ease 2, <coughs> Ease 2, Ease 10, which is coming out very soon, which was the reason I wanted to do these videos. Only has two add-on Karja. So it's going to be kind of a... It's going to be a new system, obviously you're controlling more than just add-on, which is what the party system games brought to the uh, to the table. That is obviously going to be quite different as well. Do I've tried not to watch too much stuff on Ease 10 because I just want to go into it and enjoy it myself. But it looks like you can do link strikes between them and stuff. There's some kind of tether holding them together. Anyway, I shouldn't be talking about Ease 10. This is Ease 7. And some creepy, hollow-eyed little girl. I say everyone looks suspiciously white for being in Africa. Do I have five gold? Apparently I do. She's not happy about something. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we paid her too much money. Do we get to Seattle with a flower in his hair? 
Apparently we don't. I like the um, portrait artwork down the bottom. That looks cool. Look at the way Dogie runs. So yeah, switching characters is on the bumper buttons. There's our first view of Altogo. Looks very blocky. Again, this is a PSP game from quite some time ago. So I'm guessing we're supposed to go to the end to get things started. I just want to have a quick wander around and see what's what. This looks suspicious. This seems bigger than town in um, Cell Setter, which came after this, which is kind of surprising. And I know that's supposed to be a frontier town and this is supposed to be a bustling metropolis. But still. Yeah, it's kind of weird how light everyone seems to be for being in Africa. John Cordova, that's not a very fancy land name. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Dogie, what the hell are you doing, man? Completely flipping out. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to come to the inn. Maybe just not yet. Let's just wander around some more. Go into the main square. Hi guys. Halt! You must be foreigners. supposed to go. This looks like a hotel or something. Oh, okay, it's not. You're not open yet. Why are you open and why are there people in here? Monster repellent bell, huh? Oh, wow. Foreigners just aren't allowed to leave. I'll see him alright. Executioner. Well, that's not what I expected. I expected like tournaments and stuff, not executions. Alright, where the heck am I supposed to go? Is it that obvious? No one's commented on the colour of Adol's hair yet. That's probably the longest they've gone in the game without that happening. Oh, that's back into the uh, inn, I guess. What am I supposed to do? Just wander around aimlessly? Oh, we got cats too. That's good. I 
Well, I'm at a loss. Really? Do you have to talk to a completely random NPC? Sure, that helped me all that much. Well, I am at a loss. Oh, okay, fine. That just happened. Well, he seems like a lovely chap. Here of the Roman War. What's he doing here then? Come on, Ed, I'll come and do your thing. Butt in and, you know, be a goody two shoes. the other girl. <laughs> Kid's got guts. we should do is uh, do the adult thing and butt in. Well, this is going swimmingly. Oh, the at the Borg apparently. Well, that all seemed rather pointless, just because he wanted to treat a woman like shit. But, you know.
No, you didn't. Adol did. That's what he does. Sticks his beak in. I'm supposed to assume, oh, this girl sold me a flower, so let's go and speak to other people selling flowers. It seems a bit of a stretch to actually try and move the game forward. And your blue head looks like he knows his way around a wall. Oh, I don't, not looking after your sword. Not sure he'd be saying that if Adol poked him in the arse with it, but we'll see. No, no, my good man. Adventurers. There you go. Everybody knows that all. sense of rivalry between these two. Oh, now we're getting hauled before the king. See you later, jerk wads. God, look at that guy's face. How's the Ginian Falcon, huh? No, we'll stay in the cell. Now, obviously, the king is going to ask them to do something of great import. King Kemal. Looks fancy. Well, let's get to it and see what he wants. Oh, we can just run around the palace. Ah, oh. ah, oh. can't even go up the stairs. You may do nothing except enter. Yeah, 
he's a precocious little bugger. Yes, I've heard you crush walls. An old friend, huh? Oh, Laddock, I guess. Yep. Well, then you haven't met Addo before. I mean, obviously, you're just meeting him now, but... Yep, always just going around the world, getting into scrapes, getting shipwrecked. I mean, he seems like a bad man. He was harassing a girl. Maybe tell him to stop harassing your people. Well, you better lift it, eh? Kingy. Give us some special dispensation. You sure that's okay? He's the king, Dogie. They do they go adventuring, that's what they do. Oh, of course you do. Cool, that sounds like a job for Adol. They found no abnormalities other than an ancient shrine had been unearthed. Can I go and have a look and go, yep, that's an ancient shrine. Let's get that mouse cursor out of the way. What do you want to do? Do you want to go and investigate this ancient shrine that's mysteriously been uncovered, or do you want to go back to prison? You'd think... If there was an earthquake that unearthed an ancient shrine, the king wouldn't like defer to a couple of adventurers he's never he'd never met before. This could be like state secrets kind of stuff. It could be like national security issues at play. Oh, Doge, you got some punching hands. Yeah, that sounds like some bullshit, mate. Oh, we just didn't get our weapons back. Do the uh, tutorial. Oh, we're going to the Colosseum.
look at the size of these two. So we're going to kill some helpless animals, are we? Oh, Dogie's in love. Pretty straightforward. Speed this up a bit, shall we? so I can't do it yet. That'll be that dragon energy. This is going to be very similar to cell setup. Hit enemies to build up SP and then use the SP to use your skills. No, it won't, Dogie. We already know what we're doing. Oh, we're going to hit a wooden dummy. Let me add it. Cell setter, you've got a charge attack just by kind of waiting a second. I mean, I guess it's the same thing, you had to stop attacking, wait for the charge to build up. 
So you, and you have to stop attacking to hold A down to charge it up for this. So it's not really indifferent functionally, but this is going to be the slash pierce and crush stuff again. <laughs> Soft enemies use Adolf. Hard enemies use Dogi. Actually, canonically, you have Dogi because even though Silsa came out after this game, it's set before it. Dogie's not really going to do much in the way of damage. Addo, on the other hand. Which means stop, they're dead. Next ones are going to be hard. Yep. I get it, this is the first game with this system, so they have to introduce players to it, but having played Cell Setter and, well, and Ease 8 already, it's kind of just, come on, let me get to the fun. this right in this video. A map. A map. Alright, onwards. Can we get out of the city now? Go and punch some stuff. So 
a weird thing to say, Dogie. Why are you going to kick a shrine? Alright, right, let's have a look at our map. That's where we got to get to. Which means we've got to exit the city. Let's get the heck out of here. Um, it's in like a map of the city. Anyway, this is the way out. I remember we spoke to that guy and he told us to get lost. Monster just phased into existence. Looks like a chest hidden behind that. Alright, we can still get our health back by standing still. and slashing. Oh look, that still happens. I can sell set where sometimes they just go dark and you can continue beating the crap out of their dead bodies. It's not at all weird. Right, I want to at least make it to this shrine <clears throat> before we end the video. Oh look, look, we Zelda now. You can cut the grass down. Dogi, crush this for me. Disappointing in you, Dogi. Disappointed. smash this thing? I guess not. We can interact with it. Oh, you're going to gather stuff off the floor. Okay. I can't have the ability to cut grass and not cut the grass. With your adventurer's spirit. Yeah, so far this plays very much like Cell 7, which is not surprising. Being in the same series, same system, I guess you would say. It's not a bad thing, Cell 7 is a decent game. some SP again. Let's get some in the in the some SP in the bag. Oh, the grass gives us SP as well, I didn't realise that. You're up, Dogie. skill for Adol. Let's go and equip it. Wait, I thought it said... Did it rank up or something? No? I don't know. What? Either I misread that that prompt that came up, or this game is gaslighting me. I don't know. Oh, 
I'll keep doing that. We can keep interacting with it multiple times. So I don't know if it's just all in my head or what, but it feels like SP generation is ow, is slower in this game than it was in Cell Set. find out. Oh, okay. Basically a potion. It's probably a good idea to just have that charged up between enemies. So you can keep your SP gain up. Gather all the things and hack all the grass. Oh, that's the wrong button entirely. Doggy could probably do with a bit of health. Let's uh, let him heal up. See how long it takes. Not too long. Still heal up when you're not controlling him. He does. All right, let's go. Shrine of Origins. How do you know what it's called if it was just unearthed? No, this looks like a cave, Dogie. We haven't reached the shrine yet. Right, let's get going. There's bound to be monsters. So far there are no monsters. That is an enormous chest. Just for one potion. Oh, I can't even attack here so there's not going to be any monsters. This is just a let's walk around the place. Again, I appreciate that movement is very fast. It's always good to have in these games. These games tend to be fast-paced and breezy. So it's good that you can move around fast. I do miss jumping though, because our last video obviously was E6, and you could jump in that. And uh, the first two games in the party system, E7 and Cell Setter, do not allow you to jump, but then that comes back in 8 at least. And combining the uh, dodge roll and the jump in these 8 can actually move really damn fast, which we'll see in the next video. Sure is, Dogie, your powers of perception are fantastic. What, the knights couldn't find this? Let me guess, it's going to speak to our dog because he's special. To be fair, I suppose he has interacted with like mythical beings and gods a fair few times by this point. So he probably is a bit special, or at least touched in some way at this point. Figure grace and grief. It's a strange collection of um, attributes. Oh, that's um, 
That sounds bad. He's fine. He's had all the red. Little headache can't stop him. Also, Dogie heard the voice too, huh? Well, that's not good. Boss time. This looks like a job for Dogi. Got two heads. Why does it need two heads? That's just greedy. Oh, that's a really uh, annoying effect. Two-headed turtle. Valkla. Let's see if it actually has a damage type. Well, we have very little health, so I'm going to have to try not to get hit. Well, that looks bad. That looks bad. Okay, it doesn't have a damage type. That would be very little damage to this thing. Can I actually kill this? How the hell are you supposed to even avoid that? This thing has so much health, what the hell? Quick, Dogie, get the hits in. Oh, that felt cheap. Only other potion, it's the only way. Oh, that looks bad. That really tracks quite a lot. Stalactite thing again? Or are they stalagmites? I don't know. Oh, he's going that way. Damn it, I'm not going out of the way of that. Stay in the middle, basically. What the hell does that mean? What is it, DPS check? Oh, god damn it. Dodged in the wrong direction. Well, Dogie's still alive.
pretty annoying tracks. God, barely dodge that. <clears throat> well, that's this thing has a crap ton of health. Some of this stuff I just don't see how you dodge. See, I felt like I dodged that. Start off animation with a bit of pain in the backside as well. Try to bring him back to the center. Like that thing, you get stuck in a bloody attack animation when he starts doing his start up and you just get hit by him. Stop that thing going off. Kind of feels like it's expecting me to um, level up or maybe get a better weapon before doing this because this is difficult. This is the last try I'm going to try it.
nearly went poorly. God, this thing has so much health. Come on, Dogie, stay on the pain. I need to try and get some SP up for when it wants to do that bloody ultimate thing. Let's see if I can actually try and stop it from doing it. The answer is still no. Oh. God damn it. Startup animation. Especially when you get locked in a bloody. Oh, there we go. Downed him again. I think we're still in a bit of trouble though. It's all on you. What's that? What's he doing? I don't like it. He's guarding, okay. Let's use our last potion, I guess. Now you deign to help us. Adol's dead though, so what good is this going to do me? Don't tell me I have to build the bloody gauge up. Confused what this is going to do with Adol being down. Oh, he's back to life again on 1 HP. And we have a full gauge, so at least that's that. That should finish the fight. Well, I'm glad they thought of that. Yeah, if you're going to play this, maybe get an extra level before you fight that thing because you're just not doing any damage to it. Dogie, would adult do such a thing? Your pals. Oh, he's dead. Is it the flower girl? It sure is. to punch him out. Which might just like kick him in the head or something. Put him out. Now we're getting prodded by the little sister. It's 
fine, don't worry about it. Adol's got Wolverine's healing factor. Takes him like three days of sleep to recover from grievous wounds. About as pale as everyone in this uh, version of Africa. That doesn't sound appetizing. Okay, that does. dialogue there. I think we can figure out what happened there and piece it together from what we saw. All it took was a bit of tree sap and some sleep. If only that was true in the real world. You probably would have moved him and given him brain damage, Dogie. And he would have been about as smart as you are. Yep, you sure do. Adol can't promise that. He's definitely not going to be careful. So now we have a healer friend. There's some sub story there. Yeah, let's report back to the king, and then I think that'll be the end of this video because it's been a bit of a lengthy one. But it was a bit of a long one just to get out of the city, especially as I didn't know what the hell to do or where to go. So, anyway, let's go speak to old Kingy McKing face. Already forgotten his name. Keymal, was that it? Was it Keymal? We'll find out in a moment. Anyway, we'll see what he's got to say for himself, and then that'll be that. Trustworthy, does he? Oh, so this guy's the general that we saw mentioned. I 
going to have to see if there's some way to fix that text getting hidden by the portraits issue. He's rather open about speaking disparagingly about his king, isn't he? I sense he'll be an issue later on. Here's our falcon friend. <coughs> well, that explains a lot. That's what we came here for. Let's go and see old Kingy McKing face. Deliver our report and then get the hell out of here. It's very open about this. He's not like, uh, mystical sh shit happened. Should I tell him? Oh, I'll just tell him everything. Also, there was a big turtle. Certainly seems like it. I mean, it probably caused the earthquake. It was pretty big. It was not one blow. It was many, many blows first. There we go, we're getting into the dragon business. Yeah, it's not making any sense at the moment, guys. One thing's for sure, Adol will get to the bottom of it. He'll do something that nobody's done for in centuries and in like a week. Basically said it all there, Dogi. How could this possibly have happened to Adol? Again. Whoops. It's very easy to skip dialogue. No, I think we'll just leave now. Get on a ship and go home. Dress Fatima. Certainly sounds like it. What is this guy? Is he a commander in the army or is he a scribe? You there, bring me tea. Ah, 
letter of an in introduction from the king himself. Hmm, suspicious. Old Kingy's on his way out by the looks of it. I imagine things will change for the worse. Right, that is where we are going to leave it because this is a pretty damn long video. Um, I'll probably end up editing the beginning bit of it down a little bit because we just kind of wandered around not knowing where the hell to go for a while. So, probably cut a few minutes out there, but it's still a long one. But that is our video for E7, first of the Party Combat games. Three more of which followed. One of them is the next video up, which is E8, which is one of my favourite games in the series. So I'm looking forward to jumping back into that one. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series as we move close to Ease 10's release in just, well, a little over a week by the time this video goes up. But if you're enjoying it, please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave a comment, it really helps us out. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye!